Hey everybody, it's Mike here. It's been seven days, so they told me to come back. I have my stitches pulled in seven days, but I do a lot of medical stuff and this doesn't bother me at all. Got an alcohol prep pad, just to be a little on the safe side. I can say I'm not recommending anyone else do this, but we're going to rub these down real good. Make sure... There's nothing on there. There's a little red there. Which isn't great, but sometimes the red is actually starting to heal. Okay, wipe these down with an alcohol pad. What I like to do sometimes is just to pull them up and down. And that kind of gets them loose. Okay. And then we're going to get my scissors here and get in the scar there a little bit I'm going to try to snip these bad boys usually I use my other hand to pull the stitch tight but looks better that way and cut these babies out come on nope didn't get it Need a sharper pair of scissors here. Or a little sharper point, whatever. Usually, okay, get a little bit of point. Can you get it behind here? Okay, there we go. Let me just pull that little stitch right out. Yeah, can't get a hold of knot worth the cap. Crap. Okay, there you go. A little stitch. I already pulled one out before I started my video. Okay. So we've got two out. And number three. Okay. <whistles> kind of burned a little bit on that one. Okay, number four. Let's see where I want to get it here. Should have my tweezers. Okay. Weasel behind there with the small end. And try to get her out there. You like say it's always better <clears throat> to go get the pros to do this, but I got a lot of experience in combat medicine and different stuff. I've actually put stitches in my leg myself. There you go. <clears throat> we got her figured out. I got one fat end and one pointy end, so. Okay. Other guy here, wiggle it. They said after five days they could take a bath. I mostly just shower anyway. But we're going to pull that little guy out. So there's six stitches down. Two more down in the little part here. Just wiggle them around. Get them where you can get in there. Sharp tip behind there. Boom. Pop her and lock it, baby. Pop it and lock it. Okay, now. Pull that one up. That one's tight. Just pull it down the other way. Okay, we got her out. There we go. There you go. Eight stitches all removed. Now I'm going to put a little antibiotic on there, ointment, and we'll see how she heals up. But thanks for tuning in, y'all, and uh, watch what you're doing. When you're working on an engine, that fan blade in there can get you. Mine's a, a little, has a piece broken off and kind of a gnarly edge, and I actually, there's blood on my fan still, so... <laughs> Be careful when you're working on them cars. 
Thanks for tuning in, y'all. Please like, comment, subscribe if you want to see any more of my crazy stuff. Catch y'all on the next one.